Hi, in this sequence of videos we're going to be looking at the AQA Core 2 January 2013 exam paper. The video is going to be split into three parts. There'll be the first part where um, you're going to try the questions yourself. So if you pause the video um, and have a go yourself. If you are unsure, then you can move on to the next part of the video, which will be a hint. In that part of the video, I will just give you a clue as to how you can go about answering the question. If you are still unsure, um, you can move on and have a look at um, the full answer to the question, and I'll work through the full solution um, to, to the question. So remember to um, try the questions yourself first, um, and only use the hint if you feel that you need to. Um, and only work through the answer if you feel that you need to. If you've got enough information from the hint, then, then just crack on to another question. Um, at any point during the video, um, pause and you can pause the video and, and, and have a go at finishing a question off and I encourage you to do that. If you need any further help, then please feel free to visit my website, which is www.mastup.co.uk. Okay, so um, moving on we're going to have a look at question one from this exam paper. Okay, so if you'd like to first of all go ahead and pause the video and try the question. Okay, um, if you're unsure, we're now going to go through a hint for the question. So I'm going to explain to you um, what you might want to do to work this out. Now, um, we're given this diagram and um, we're told that the angle um, in this sector is 1.25 radians and we're also told the perimeter the distance around the sector is 39 centimeters so that's this distance all the way around here now what we need to do is we need to use our formula that we should know um, where the length of the arc is equal to r theta Okay, that's a letter L. The length of the arc is equal to r theta. So this length here is equal to r theta. Now bear in mind, we've been told the perimeter of the sector, the distance all the way around is 39 centimeters. So now you want to decide um, how you can put together an equation that you can solve um, and the answer that you should get is r is equal to 12. Okay. Um, the second part asks us to calculate the area of the sector OAB. So um, in this part we need to use our formula. Um, the area is equal to a half r squared theta. Yeah, the area is equal to um, half r squared theta. So um, we know what r is and we know what theta is. So hopefully we'll be able to work that out as well. Okay, if you'd like to now um, pause the video and have a go and see if you can work this out for yourself. Okay, in this part of the video I'm going to go through the answer to this question. So, um, first of all, um, we knew that the length of this arc is equal to r theta. Um, we also know um, that the perimeter is 39 centimeters, so that means r plus r plus r theta and gives us 39 centimeters. So for part A, I'm going to say r plus r plus r theta is equal to 39 centimeters. I also know that theta is equal to 1.25. So I've got 1.25 r plus another r plus another r. Um, so altogether that gives me 3.25 r is equal to 39. Um, so that tells me that r is equal to 39 over 3.25, which means r is equal to 12 centimeters. Okay, and there you go, and that's what we were looking for. Now for part b, um, we're asked to calculate the area of the sector OAB. So for this we're going to use our formula A is equal to a half r squared theta um, which means that we're going to get a half of and we've got 12 squared um, so that's going to be 144 and we're going to times that by theta which is 1.25 radians 
Okay, so um, if I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get an area of 90 centimeters squared. Okay, there you go. Um, I hope you found that useful and um, I'll see you again for the next video.